Zena Systems Fragments. Thetes. Nickland. Narrated by Skeptical Waves. The formulation of this concept was a building block moment for NRX, but the trend in its usage has been dismally regressive. Apparently devised as a tool for the analysis of social identities, it is increasingly invoked as a rallying cry for neo-tribalism. From the perspective of outside-in, it will soon become entirely toxic unless it is dramatically clarified. Nidraku initially employs the word theed to designate the substance of group identity, a super-individual grouping that its constituent individuals feel affiliation with and, therefore, positive estimates of. Thedes are multiple, overlapping, sometimes concentric, and honed by antagonistic in-group-slash-out-group determinations. They are seen as following from the understanding that man is a social animal. Ideological arguments disguise theed conflicts. At this level of abstraction, there is little to find objectionable. In his essay on natural law, Jim writes, Man is a rational animal, a social animal, a property-owning animal, and a maker of things. He is social in the way that wolves and penguins are social, not social in the way that bees are social. The kind of society that is right for bees, a totalitarian society, is not right for people. In the language of sociobiology, humans are social, but not you social. Natural law follows from the nature of men, from the kind of animal that we are. We have the right to life, liberty and property, the right to defend ourselves against those who would rob, enslave, or kill us, because of the kind of animal that we are. Occupying a band of group integration between ants and tigers, humans have intermediate sociality. Even the tightest mode of human social organization is loose relative to an ant colony, and even the loosest is tight relative to a solitary feline. In human societies, neither collectivity nor individuality is ever absolute, and, even though these poles are commonly exaggerated for polemical purposes, they realistically apply only to a range of group integrations, which is both narrow and significantly differentiated. To say that man is a social animal does not mean that collectivity is the fundamental human truth, any more than the opposite. It means that man is a creature of the middle, and the middle has a span. Insofar as a theed corresponds to a unit of autonomous, reproducible social organization, it is a far narrower concept than the one Nidraku outlines. A theed is an ethnicity if it describes a real, rather than merely conventional, unit of human population. This is, of course, to exclude a great variety of identity dimensions, including sex, sexual orientation, age, interests, star signs, as well as some of those Nidraku mentions, musical subcultures and philosophical schools. Generalization of Thedes to include all self-conscious human groupings risks diffusion into frivolous subjectivism, and subsequent reappropriation for alternative purposes. If the analysis of Thedes begins with the recognition that man is a social animal, it is a grave error to immediately expand the scope of the concept to groups such as women, lesbians, dog lovers, and black metal fans, since none of these correspond to biologically relevant social groupings. If this is the way the notion is to be developed, this blog takes the first off-ramp into more biorealist territory. There are quite enough of such thetes to be found already in university literature and grievance studies departments. Thetism of this kind is simply intersectionality with a slight right-wing skew. It has no cladistic function, unless as degenerate metaphor. As a reliable heuristic, only those groupings which are plausible subjects of secessionist autonomization should be considered thetes. Any group that could not imaginably be any kind of micronation has only intrathetish identity. More darkly, a theed, properly speaking, is necessarily a potential object of genocide. To argue this way is to depart radically from the usage Nidraku recommends. It is not an attempt to wrest control of the word, but only to explain why it seems so basically impaired. This post will be the last time it is mangled here. Rigorization of theed analysis in the direction of real ethnicities would also require the abandonment of attempts to assimilate classes to thedes, although class identities can mask thedes, and operate as their proxies. Between New England and Appalachia there is a, real, theed difference between ethnic populations, encrusted with supplementary class characteristics. Used strictly in this way, the idea of a theed does theoretical work, and uncover something. It exposes the subterranean ethnic war disguised by class stratification. When merely used to classify generic social identities, on the other hand, it thickens the fog, pandering to the social constructivist mentality. Tribes and classes cannot be absorbed into a single super-concept without fatal loss of meaning. It is impossible to belong to a class in anything like the same sense that one can belong to an ethnic, feed, unless class is a cover. Class stratification is primarily intrathetish and transthetish. It is the way a population is organized, not a population itself. Religious difference, in contrast, 
are typically thetish. By far the most important example, for the internal dissensions of NRX, and for the Occident in general, is the split between Catholic and Reformed, Protestant, Christianity. There are real, autonomously reproducible, Catholic and Protestant populations, and thus true thetes. Either could be wholly exterminated without the disappearance of the other. Furthermore, the way in which thetishness is comprehended varies systematically between them. On strictly technical grounds, it is tempting to counterpose high integrity to low integrity social arrangements, but that is to give away too much ammunition for free. This is to depart into a different discussion, but one that is already overdue. Alongside other obvious references, Nidraki points to this. Ethnicities correspond to real populations, and to cladistic structures. These as presently formulated do not. Ironically, this denotational haziness, supergenerality, of the Thede concept lends itself to usages guided by extremely concrete connotations, with a distinctive blue und Boden flavor. Usage of the word identity, at least, on the right, has exactly the same characteristics. This blog is done with the Thede concept unless its meaning is drastically tidied up. Note, where this post wanted to go, when it set off, was closer to the dogs versus cats debate, or this. Yeah there is a huge disconnect between the idea of c-stating as a platform for experimenting with various forms of governance and the reality that the vast majority of people interested in pursuing it are orthodox libertarians who see some kind of anarcho-capitalist libertarianism as the inevitable winner in a fair fight between political systems. I really think that a belief in libertarianism is linked to a distinctive and relatively rare neurological type, and therefore will never convince the vast majority of people who tend towards a more altruistic and collectivized morality. It is at least conceivable that neuro-atypical hyper-individualists could establish a micronation, or be exterminated. They could therefore lay claim to thetish identity, although in a strict sense, that no one wants to use. Added, since this is my last opportunity to borrow theed to mean something with substantial real content, i.e. an autonomous, self-reproducing social unit, it's worth enumerating some possible theeds, to give a sense of its extension, tribes, ethnic groups, concentrically ordered, cities, Seasteads, space colonies, what is your theed? Translates as who are your people? Stamp collectors shouldn't be considered a serious answer, 